Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Louise Bennett. Louise Bennett was born on September 7, 1919, in Kingston, Jamaica, West Indies. Augustus Cornelius Bennett, a baker, and Corrine Robinson, a dressmaker, were Louise Bennett's parents. As a child, Louise Bennett developed a love for drama, literature, folklore, and Jamaican language. She started writing poetry as young as 14 years old and had her first performance at 16 years old. Her poem was written in Jamaican language and at the time, this was often scrutinized as the inferior language. Louise Bennett grew up at a time in Jamaica when there was a surge in nationalism. Residents wanted more autonomy over their government and therefore pushed back against the British rule. Louise Bennett, while she appreciated the British English and the literature she learned in school, she often wondered why Jamaicans did not speak and write in their own language, often referred to as Patois. She pushed back against the notion that speaking Patois was an embarrassment and only something done by the poor or illiterate. She viewed Patois as its own complete language. By creating written works in Patois, she began influencing others about the significance and tried to bridge the gap between people of all walks of life. Louise Bennett will go on to study in both Jamaica and England. She did live performances and used her platform to bring attention to the need for national pride and understanding of oral traditions or folklore. On May 30, 1954, Louise Bennett and Eric Overly were married in Harlem, New York, in the United States. Upon their return to Jamaica, Louise and Eric Coverley would continue their work in the performing arts sector. She would also continue to write poetry, work as an actress, work in broadcasting, and learn more about the Jamaican culture. Louise Bennett Coverley had a deep love for her nation. She traveled across the island and used her platform to educate others through her poems, demonstrations, and lectures. She was a folklorist, an actress, a renowned poet, social commentator, a comedian, and so much more. She was regarded as a national treasure. She received many awards and accolades in her time for her work championing Jamaican culture, its rich folklore tradition, and bringing national pride to the use of the Jamaican language as a form of artistic expression. Louise Bennett Coverley passed away on July 26, 2006. By that time, she had made a name for herself both on the island and abroad. She was affectionately known as Miss Lou, and she will forever be remembered as an ambassador for Jamaican culture and traditions.
as always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.